Yeah, I thought, um, well, number one, we won. So it's always better when you win. <laughs> uh, I'm really happy for the team because, you know, I, I think when you lose three games in a row, you just can get a little down. It's natural human nature. And so just for our team morale and, and getting us back on that winning track, I think means a lot. So really proud of the effort. I, I thought we had some good bench minutes tonight, um, which was nice to see and, and got some people some time that get in there. Anytime you can get in a game um, in that live action with fans in the stands, I think it's good for our girls. And um, so I was, I was glad that we had some bench, valuable bench minutes too. But we got off to a great start and I thought our kids were really locked in. And obviously we want to do a few things better, but um, I think getting off to a good start helps us for the remainder of the game. Ivy, mean, could you just talk about how everybody immediately one of the team leaders, you and Duval specifically, kept everybody positive, hey, we do this, we do this, 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 and that. And like you said, got the result out there. Wasn't even they took care of it. They so have to go with a double digit double, double digit lead. Yeah. Oh, um, you know, we like coach said, we lost those the last three games and we just they always tell us to stick with the game plan. So that's what we did tonight. Uh we knocked down shots and it went went good for us. So In the first half, um, it seems like a lot of things were going in for North Kentucky. The pass is wide open, whereas mm -hmm. Robert Morris, it seems like there was a lift on the, on the bucket. Can you just talk about the, the, the psychology of how when shots go in, just the confidence level just keeps going up, whereas it's reverse if, it, if they don't? Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, we've been on the other side of it. There are a couple games in a row where the shots weren't going in, and it does make um, – it makes it hard because – you know, we always try to emphasize defense, let our di defense dictate our offense. But it's just it's just a natural thing. You know, when that ball goes in the basket, it just feels a lot better. And it's a lot more fun to watch, too, for the fans and for me. So, um, but just for confidence, you know, I'm really glad that the girls got to see some, some going through the basket. And, you know, I know that um, we've had some offensive struggles. And even in the second half, you know, we had some lulls and some struggles. Um, that we need to clean up. But um, this team also has been in a lot of close games. And this was a point I made in, in one of the timeouts going into the fourth quarter. You know, we, we got beat in that fourth quarter. And I told the girls, I said, playing with a 23-point lead is hard. Playing with a lead is hard. We played only one game this year where we've really had just against Tennessee Tech a true lead. And we just felt in control the whole game. And so um, sometimes you got to learn to play from behind. Sometimes you got to learn to play in the tight ones, which we've had to do a lot of already this season. And, and you also have to learn how to play with a lead. And the really great teams, you know, are able to push that 23-point lead to a 40-point win. Um, and that's where we're trying to get. But, uh, but I don't want to sound ungrateful. I'm, I'm very happy for the win. And this is a conference win. And any conference win that we pick up in our league is a good one. So we're happy for that. Uh, Northern Kentucky, uh, 32 to 22 in the paint. You especially took, took control of us in the, in the first half. Uh, so, how was that key to building that lead at that time? Um, just going in, being ready, coming off the bench. Uh, coach always comes down and she tells everybody you have to be ready. So, just going in, staying focused, um, not trying to go in and score, just going in and doing whatever I can do for the team. And, you have guards like Ivy that they hit you on a dump or it just so happens that you have a one-on-one -on -one in the post and you go score, so. Coach, it was a pretty aggressive game tonight. A lot of mm -hmm. bodies on the floor. Um, how, did, how did your team handle it? Well, I thought uh, first half especially, we were 13 for 15 from the foul line and, and we hadn't fouled as much in the first half. Um, and there were a whole lot of fouls, you know, 28 from them and 23 from us, which we try to keep our fouls at 15 or less per game. So we fouled a little bit too much. And, but it was, you know, we knew going into it as part of – we told the kids, Robert Morris, this is how they play defensively. They've been holding teams 48 points a game. Um, so they're a really good, well-coached defensive team. And um, so for us to be able to score 69 on them, I feel good about that because they have, for seven games – held teams pretty low. So um, we knew it was going to be physical. And, you know, we've got to learn to play through that a little bit better and, and us not foul so much. But we also shot 34. You know, we drew 28 fouls. 
And so I think that that is who we are. You know, we at one point before the last couple of games, I think we're seventh in the country in free throws, uh, free throw attempts um, and getting to the foul line. So um, it's something that we try to do and, and you know, we want to make other teams kind of play in distress and, and in foul trouble that makes them hesitant and helps us. So um, it was a definitely a physical game, but glad we came out on the other side. Last thing from me, um, and you spoke to it earlier, great minutes off the bench mm -hmm. tonight. Um, what does it feel like having that depth that you can rely on? Well, I mean, we need them. I told them that after the game. I said, we need you guys. And, and when you get your opportunity to go in and get valuable minutes, you have got to be focused and make the most out of it. I thought Trinity really took advantage, especially in the first half of her minutes. Um, you know, to be able to produce the way she did. And most importantly, you know, she knocked down her free throws, which is something that she'd been struggling with a little bit in games. Um, but Trinity's a great shooter. Um, you got a little glimpse of what she is going to be able to do for us as she gets older and more experienced. Um, and, you know, just a really good offensive player. So I was glad to see that. Hopefully it gives Trinity some confidence. And it definitely gives me confidence in her and, and her abilities. Um, same way with Allison, you know, she's a freshman, but she got 10, almost 10 minutes and she needs some of those minutes to get in there and just get up and down and get comfortable. And, um, because Allison's a, a really great scorer and, and she's going to be really, really good. And so, um, I was glad for her too. And, you know, Kennedy, I think has been really consistent over the last three games off the bench. So it's nice to have a guard that we, we feel comfortable putting in. I mean, she could potentially be a starter, um, but she's fine with her role, and um, it's good for our team. You know, these guys, Ivy, Ivy doesn't need to play 40 minutes. Lindsay doesn't need to play 40 minutes. They need um, – Emmy doesn't need to play. We need people that can come in, and then there's no drop-off, no letdown. You know, those, those are the teams that, that end up being really, really good and finish at the top. So that's what we're working toward. Cameron, uh, number 23. Stephen Evans being 13.7 over 12, and I know that 35 had 14. So if there's one thing that made her day, just one, is it? Uh, 35 or 23. Yeah, she, you know, she's a really good post player and she's young. She's only a sophomore. Um, and I, I think she's, she's able to face up and take you off the bounce. And she's also able to post up down low. And um, I'm proud of the job that we did against her. You know, we just fouled 35 too much. She was driving us and we, we put her at the free throw line. But, um, but yeah, I mean, she's a great player. and She's going to be a good player down the road. But uh, you know, sophomore to sophomore, no offense to her, but I'll take ours any day. <laughs> and then last one for me, I mean, I mean, Trinity, you can uh, speak to this a little bit, Coach Shiny, too. Uh, I mean, how do you just kind of stay focused as, you know, players and obviously as coaches when, you know, a lot of free throws like that and 60 total combined, even with the lead, you know, like Coach said, it's like playing with the lead is difficult. You stretch out the game, kind of give them more opportunities. How do you stay focused, you know, when the game's extended like that? Uh, like I said, just continue to stick with the game plan. Like Coach said, we fouled a lot, but we just continue to um, do what we do uh, on offense and continue to get stops without fouling. So we try to break the down the game up into five minute segments. So for us, if you know we want to win every five minute segment, and if we don't win it, it's okay. What did we do during that segment that we could do better? And so every time out, we have an intentional, you know, thing that we're talking about in the huddle. And that's a, one way how we try to stay focused, you know, not so much on the 40-minute game, but, like, just those five-minute segments where we get the media timeouts and making adjustments that way. Okay. Thanks, guys.